what's going on guys uh, i finally figured i'd uh, do a little research and try to find out where i got these frame plugs from i've had multiple requests to uh see where i got them from i could never find them i finally went through my paypal today and the most information i could find was his name was christopher harwood h-a-r-w-o-o-d and his company is called Craig Tech. <clears throat> so I don't have a website or anything like that. There's nothing on PayPal except for that. And I want to say I found them through the MT10 forum. So those are the frame plugs. They fit perfectly. They're like, uh, I think they're like an anodized aluminum with a rubber gasket around them so they do not fall out. They're actually pretty tough to get in. So I wouldn't expect them to come out or fall out you're gonna to have to pick them out with a screwdriver or a knife or something um they're they're definitely just not gonna fall out they are they were kind of expensive i thought but not as expensive as the rng ones which are ridiculous um quality seems to be pretty good very happy with them um so that's that haven't really done much to it actually haven't been riding barely at all um and I apologize for that. No, no writing or no videos of the bike. But um, we are actually finally moving um, from my house. We're, uh, we've signed a contract for our property. And um, we've been cleaning up the old house. And we're going to put it for sale here soon. So it'll probably be still a little while before I get into some videos. And I'm actually even thinking about selling this bike. Um, just because, uh, you know, it's partially down a dirt road. And the reason, original reason I got rid of my R1 is because I was like, I'm not going to bring this nice, shiny, beautiful black bike up and down this dirt road. Well, that was, I don't know, two years ago, a year and a half ago. But this time we've actually signed the contract, so it's happening as of right now. So we'll see. Um, I, I may end up getting another Supermoto dirt bike style thing. Just I'll feel a little bit better about taking it up and down a dirt road. It's not much of a dirt road, but still, it's more country. It's five acres, and I almost feel guilty bringing something like this up and down it. So... We'll see. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, uh, if I'll sell it or not. But anyways, guys, real reason for the video was to get you these uh, frame plugs. I'm sorry I don't have more information, but that's all I've got. Um, I'll try to keep you updated and uh, do some more videos if possible. It's just we have been swamped at the house with getting that ready and uh, prepping everything at the property. So... There may be some new videos or different videos coming once that all happens. Um, uh, <laughs> we're going to sell the house and I'm going to live in my camper on that property or at my parents' property while it's being built. So that should be interesting. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of places to put this, though. That's going to be another reason I may sell this bike because I'm not going to really have anywhere to put it. But we'll see. Again, it, uh, hopefully it'll all work out. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks again for uh, you know sticking in there and, and not unsubscribing. I'll, I'm trying my best to get some more videos out there. It's just we've been swamped the past couple of months. All right, guys, see ya.